how did it feel when you were cast in Blacklist and you saw the script and you realized that you were not just, you know, kind of like there as like, uh, a, a, you know, to carry the story for James Spader's character, but actually an integral part and that you were desired? Oh, yes, it was it was one of the most exciting uh, experiences for me in my career, to be honest. And I'll tell you, you, you say, how did I feel? When they when I got the audition, I looked at the script and I said, love interest for James Spader. I'm like, they're not going to cast me. And then I told, I was working with my mm -hmm. camera coach because she's we do it via Zoom and she's in California. And I said, girl, they're not going to cast me. And she said, well, let's just put it together and see anyway. And when I got the call, I ha I went back <laughs> and my audition tape. I was like, wait a second, what did I do? <laughs> right. <laughs> I said, let me go back and make sure I bottle that. So, um, so you know, I got on set and started working with, with, with James and, you know, he was just so open and I completely lost any fear or nerves or concern about being a love interest and just mm -hmm. fell right into it because I know what it feels like to be loved and desired. Mm -hmm. So I just was able to do that on camera yeah. and we had wonderful chemistry. Yeah. You know, we had amazing chemistry. So mm -hmm. it was just really... It, again, it was the first time after all these years being, a, you know, dark skin sister in this business, not often cast as, as the love interest, but it was wonderful to be in that position of pre having someone protect. Yes. He was my lover. He was my protector. Mm -hmm. He was my, you know, those kinds of um, dynamics that as black women, we really are seen having that experience on screen. Yeah.